How you doing guys? My name is Joe and I am the co-owner and other half of Dana. And we run Dana Joe & Co, which is an educational platform for photographers who are looking to basically create a photography business that they dreamed of. Um, because let's be honest, a lot of us as photographers, we joined and started doing photography only to realize that this is a real business and there's a lot to learn and there's a lot going on. So we want to make you also not only better photographers, but better business owners. By being a better business owner, you can do more of what you love. Now, <clears throat> if you watch any of our videos, these are short, quick, sweet, to the point tips uh, to either reveal something new to you that you may have not known about before or uh, help you dive a little bit deeper into something that you may already be using. And today, what I'm talking about is uh, two systems that we use quite often in our business that we started recently using in the past couple of years, and they are called ClickUp and Slack. Now, if you've ever heard of Trello, right? Trello is very popular. Um, it's how we actually started using uh, client management before we actually use, started using a client resource uh, management system, which we now use as Sprout. Uh, I actually created a video on that, so go ahead and check that out where I actually talk about CRMs. Um, <clears throat> so we actually used to use Trello, and then we replaced that with a CRM, but we also use ClickUp for task management. Um, and we also use it to kind of as a supplement to our CRM, right? Um, do we have to use ClickUp? I, I don't know. We like it because of the visual aspect. Um, and it's really easy to go in and keep everything organized and updated because it's not just client management that's in there as well. It's also project management and uh, tasks that we have uh, that are going on. Um, fortunately for Dane and I, we're a husband and wife team, and it's easy for us to just communicate because we're in the same house, but if you have other photographers or other team members that you're communicating with, right? ClickUp is a fantastic way to not only keep track, but also give them login information where they can actually go in and see what's going on. And you can assign tasks and things like that. Now, this is not a full ClickUp rundown. This is not a full Slack rundown. I can create separate videos on these systems and exactly how we're using it. But I will do like a one or two minute uh, run through and talk about like the benefits uh, of using these systems and, and why we're using them as well. So one of the things that I love about ClickUp, like I said, is Trello. Now, I. I think they call this, um, this isn't a Gantt chart, I forget what it, it starts with a Z, but there's actually a word for the way this is laid out. What's beautiful is you can create all these projects on the left hand side, and then under those projects, <clears throat> you can basically create subtests. Um, so you'll see here, this is business tests that we've listed out. So um, this says open, uh, we wanna write some three, six, nine months emails, right? <clears throat> So when we start working on this, all I have to do is slide this over and you know it's in the pending, right? Okay, yeah, someone starts to work on this, it's now in progress, and then it gets completed in review and then accepted, right? These are completely customizable across the top. If I click here, I can assign Dana or myself. Um, I can put tags on here, I can put a due date on here. Um, I can create a new task. If I click in here, What's really neat about this is I can put a description and then I can put a, a checklist in here as well. I love um, creating a project in here and then breaking it down into subtasks and putting due dates and assigning people to it. Because what's really neat, um, if I come up here and I look at uh, my list, it'll show everything that uh, is due in a, in a quick, easy list. Or if I come over here at time, It'll actually put it on the calendar for me. So I don't have anything that's due this month. Um, I haven't really been putting due dates. But if I were to put a due date, I could do a quick calendar look, right? And you can actually sync this with your Google Calendar if you use Google Calendar as well. But anyway, <clears throat> that's a quick run through. So something that we do is we actually will we'll throw our leads in here, right? And we'll do a day one text. And we'll put them through our follow-up sequence. So, you know, we'll text it. And then we'll put a due date on it, and then we'll put it in, put them, you know, if they don't respond, we'll move them over to a phone call, their second phone call, email, 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 and then if they don't respond, then we'll drop them in the delete section, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see all these people <clears throat> just did not respond. All right. Um, and then we also have people like in a con 
contract stage, right? So open, meeting date sent, pricing presented, book and proposal lost. And then we have our couples in the pre-wedding stage, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome email, welcome gift. So basically our workflow is built into this, right? And as we complete those tests, we basically just move them over to the next thing. <clears throat> uh, website tests, you know, create email sequences, website launch. You know, there's a lot going on here, right? So you can create as many of those want. But what I really like about this is the ability to take a project, break it down into subtests, put a due date to it, so that it really does keep you on track and keep you on pace. Because if I come back in here, right, I can click on this, and I can write notes, I can attach files, I can do subtests, like, it's really neat. It's like taking a paper folder, a paper project, and putting it all into one location. So if, I ever, if I'm ever busy, or if I need to go back and reference something, it's super easy for me to just go in here and just click on a project and, see, and get caught up really fast. Um, again, I've talked about this in previous videos. When you start out in, your, in, the, in the beginning of your business, um, you have a lot of time, but you don't have a lot of money. Eventually, it gets to the point where you have more money, but less time. Using systems like this helps you automate, save you brain power, and also save you time. So we're using ClickUp to manage projects and manage leads and then manage our client experience. <clears throat> Something else that we use is Slack. Now, we, we started using Slack because we had a team member who basically helps us out. Um, with Pinterest, they're helping us with Pinterest. So if you have remote communication, right, I, I see Slack as just, a, it's just another form of communication, right? I can create these channels over here on the left-hand side and I can communicate and keep all the, you know, everything inside of here. But one of the things that I do is I actually use a program called Zapier. Um, you can research it and I can do a different video on that a different day. But essentially is whenever I get a new lead, that lead information gets um, put into new leads over here, and I can keep track of all the leads that are coming in, uh, the day, the time. I can put, I can customize this message with a name and everything that's going on. Um, we have a Shopify store, so if a new order comes in, I can see the orders that are coming in. Um, if I'm doing Pinterest stuff or website stuff, or or if I need to follow up, because there's some things that just don't go on ClickUp, right? There's some things that I Dana and I need to communicate about and she's busy with a project or I'm busy with a project and I want to basically write down a reminder that she's going to see that isn't on some kind of loose leaf of paper around my house. So what I'll say, I'll go into follow-up section of like, hey, XYZ needs to be followed up by this day. Um, here's what we talked about. Um, they're interested in doing dot, 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 right? So what you would do is basically write that in there. So whoever's assigned to that follow-up channel, uh, this turns white, and then they know that there's a new message in there. So Slack is a communication channel, but I also use it as an alert channel, right? Because like, I don't want six different programs on my phone giving me alerts. Rather, I'd rather funnel all those alerts into one of these organized channels, because if I know a new if I get an alert for my new leads, like I know I need to go in here and do this. So instead of checking my Facebook messages all day, seeing if a new lead came in, I just come in here in Slack and I can just look at new leads to see who came in. Like, do I have a new lead or not, right? Uh, otherwise, the rest of those notifications are fluff. Because really what you're trying to do is eliminate um, distractions, uh, streamline processes, and automate as much as possible. So Slack is really um, fantastic for that. If you employ VAs um, or assistants or you have a studio manager, Slack is a fantastic way to communicate. So really what we've done is um, these programs can be used for more than what they're intended for. A lot of people take all these programs and kind of mod podge them together. And you just got to find what works for you. And the only way to do that is really to start just plugging and playing, right? Um, so ClickUp is what we use for like, client management, project management, and then Slack is used more as a, as a notification slash communication channel, right? So they kind of work hand in hand. So I just wanted to show those two, two tools to you real quick. Um, Slack is free for the ten, first 10,000 messages. Uh, ClickUp is free as well, but you can pay. It's super cheap. It, I think it's maybe oof, like a few bucks a month. And what that allows you to do is actually hook up your Google Drive. Um, to click up and allows you to integrate your Google Calendar as well as a, 
as well as a few other things. Um, you can actually, in the back end of ClickUp, you can um, connect Slack. So like if something were to update in ClickUp, it would send the message over to Slack channel, right? Um, so you can get really creative and do some cool things with that. So like if a client, you know, moves from one thing to the next, then it would show up over here. So I could go more in depth with that and I, I think it's a great idea to cr do some of those videos later on and really show you some neat integrations that you can do to help your business. But I just wanted to bring these two tools to you as awareness, right? Uh, dig in, dive in, let me know like if you found uses for them, ways that you're using it in your business so that others can get ideas. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe button uh, and come join our free group on Facebook called The Booking Lab. If you're on Facebook, just you know tap the like button. Let us know if you're enjoying this content. Uh, come over and join the group. We'd love to have you. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.